She was the first military woman to become a White House physician and the first woman director of the White House Medical Unit. Dr. Connie Mariano is the author of a new book called The White House Doctor. She's here to share all of her remarkable experiences with us, and we welcome you today. Thank you. So tell me, you served three presidents. You were arguably the most important doctor in the country, in the world to a lot of people. What was the biggest inspiration behind writing this book? I think what happened is a lot of people would come up to me and ask me, what, what is it like being at the White House? And I would tell them stories over and over again in vignettes of what happened. And then finally I said, I really need to write a book about this to sort of share behind the scenes what life is like taking care of the most powerful man in the world. And tell everyone which three presidents you served for, because I know you started in 1992. Mm -hmm. I started in 1992. I was the Navy physician to George Herbert Walker Bush. I spent the last year with him and then I was there through the entire Clinton presidency. And then for the last president, Bush, I was there about six months to transition him into the new president, oh, actually into the new uh, physician at the time. That's amazing. You went through it three is. of the most powerful men in the world. And you talk in your book about everything from being uh, former President Clinton's personal physician mm -hmm. to putting a Band-Aid on jo uh, C George Sr.'s golf injury. Right. Can you just tell us what were some of the most memorable experiences for you? A lot of the memorable ones were just sort of everyday experiences with the most publicized people in the world. You're seeing them in their home, in a private setting, and you realize how real they are. But also for a lot of the famous celebrities, you're seeing them when they're sick, when they're not wearing makeup or not in front of the camera, and you really get to know them as people up front. You got to know him as people, and actually, uh, former President Clinton says in the book that he trusted you with her, not only his life, but with the lives of his family as well. Mm -hmm. So how close did you get to the Clinton clan? Oh, you, you are very much like their household staff. You're there all the time. You travel with them. The White House doctor is one of the few people on the 18 acres of the White House who can actually go upstairs to the president's bedroom and wow. say, did you take your medicines? Are you not <laughs> feeling well? You do the ultimate house call. You're a little bit like the mom of the house. You really are the mom of the house. And actually, someone said, was it different for you being a woman versus having a male White House physician? And I think being a woman, treating a male patient who's powerful is actually better accepted. It's harder for a male White House physician to give orders to the president. But if you're a woman, it's almost like your mom. Mm -hmm. uh, and he listens to you better. The other thing that we noticed as a White House physician, one of the secrets is if the president doesn't want to do what you want him to do, you go to a higher power. <laughs> you go to the first lady. Go to the first lady. She'll get him to do it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, now, you mentioned in the book, and I thought this was really interesting, you wrote in the spare limo, or, or the deco, decoy right. limo, uh -huh. and you said at first you were a little uneasy about being kind of assassin bait, is what you said, but then mm -hmm. you said you got over it. Mm -hmm. What made you get over that? How did you get over that? Well, the whole culture of the people you travel with, with Secret Service, you know, you, you actually realize how dangerous that job is because you're in what they call the kill zone, that inner circle of people who are close enough to the president. But if you realize that he is a target all the time, we're conscious of that, that if he gets injured, you're not too far from an assassin's bullet. And I think of James Brady, who got the bullet deflected off the limo mm -hmm. when it was aimed for President Reagan. So you're in that inner circle. So after a while, you sort of get used to it. And some of the dark humor pervades the atmosphere. <laughs> so we say, you know, one of the jokes we say is, well, if Air Force One ever crashes, you know, it'll say presidents, president and others perish. Well, you're <laughs> part of the others. So it really humbles you a lot. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of these stories in your new book, Dr. My pleasure. Dr. Mari Mariano. And to read more about her experience at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, you can pick up a copy of The White House Doctor. It's available now.